Welcome back to 40 TV. I'm your host, 40. Today I'm excited to introduce you to another Final Cut Pro X effect. This one's called uh, Cartoon. Once you download this plugin, which is available at 40tv.com slash downloads, you'll notice that uh, we now have installers. These installers have built, uh, or all of our plugins have been, been revamped to include these installers, hopefully streamlining the install process for everybody, making everything a little bit simpler. After you double click on the installer, you're prompted with an end user license agreement. Once you clip, click on accept, you can then go ahead and click on install. After installing the plugin, if you had Final Cut Pro X open, go ahead and close the program and reopen it. I have mine open with the plugin installed and you'll notice I have a clip in my timeline. If I press spacebar, you'll notice it's of my dog Bandit giving a nod saying he's ready to be filmed. <laughs> Next thing you want to do is navigate to your effects browser. That's this button right here. Then go ahead and find the 40TV folder. And inside the 40TV folder, you'll see cartoon. If I drag my mouse over it, I'll see the effect applied um, or previewed uh, with the default parameters. If I, click, if I drag it on top of my clip or double click on it, if I had my clip selected, I can apply it. Next, we're going to go ahead and click on inspector here. And we're going to navigate to the properties for cartoon. So first thing that you have here is dot position. It has an on-screen control. What you can do, for example, with this particular parameter is we can set a keyframe here in the beginning of our clip. We can move to the end of our clip, set another keyframe. If we zoom out a little bit, there we go. I wasn't seeing the on-screen control. Maybe drag it over here. And then I'm going to zoom back to fit to show you what's going on. Basically, when I press spacebar, I don't know how well you can see on this low, res uh, low resolution, um, but basically the dots are being animated. If you do not animate this parameter, then the dots will not be animated. You'll notice that it does look like something's going on. That's because there is some noise um, being applied in the plugin and the noise is animated. However, if you want these dots uh, to move, then you're going to want to uh, animate the dot position. Next, you'll notice that there's a scale parameter. If we drag these up, it makes the dots much larger. If we drag them down, it makes them look different. So if you drag this down to around, I don't know, eight, nine, something like that, it kind of looks like a dotted uh, drawn pattern. By default, it's at 18. It gives it kind of that uh, cartoony look that happens in a certain type of cartoon photo apps. You can also change the angle of the dots within the that are being applied. This can be animated as well. You can change the blend mode. By default it's set to overlay. I, lay, I left all the blend mode options here available to you, but different blend modes are going to produce different results. For example, if you set it to normal, it's going to look black and white. Set it to multiply, it's going to make all the colors uh, a little richer. You set it to hard light, this is a, a kind of a washed out look. Overlay, much more saturated. But by default I have it set to soft light, it tends to produce a pleasing result. Depending on your footage, you may want to adjust the brightness of this effect. So if I drag this slider down, I'm going to darken the effect. If I drag it up, I'm going to lighten the effect. So by default it's set at 75 and for this clip, I don't know, somewhere around yeah, 65 or so looks pretty good. Maybe even increasing the dot size a little bit to 22. Again though, if we zoom out, set this to 100%, we may see that this uh, dots are too large at 22. So maybe drag them down 17, 18, dependent. But for the tutorial, we're going to leave them at, I don't know, 22 so you can see them a little bit better. Next thing you're going to notice is there's a frame width. Right now there's an angle set as well. If I drag this down to zero, this makes a zero frame width. However, we do still see a border because the angle's been rotated two degrees. If I set this to zero, you'll notice that there's no frame border around the image. I can, of course, adjust the frame angle. If it's, the default is 2%. Of course, if you wanted to angle another position, you could put it at negative 2%. If we increase our frame width, the highest is 100. And 100 equates to about 80% uh, or a 20% border. Again, maybe we just want it had to have no angle. We can set this to zero. Over here we have background toggle. 
Right now I have the background toggled on, or this is a background solid uh, toggled on. We can change the color here to suit our project. So maybe I want a blue, for example, or maybe some type of dark green. If I turn this off, right now it's black and I don't have anything underneath it, it's actually transparent. But if I render it out with this unchecked and nothing underneath it, it's going to render as black. However, if I have a clip below it, and let me uh, toggle this clip on by pressing V, you'll notice that it renders transparent and what goes on behind it is going to be rendered. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off by pressing V on my keyboard. I'll select this clip again. I'll come back, and you know what, to be honest, I like this at 50 and at 2%. Next thing you'll notice up here, I have another clip. I'll go ahead and press V on my keyboard and enable. This uh, clip right here is actually a new generator that 40TV has come out with. It's called Chat Bubbles Pro. You'll notice that this chat bubble has some text inside of it. I'll just go over some of the options real quick so you can see what it's all about. There's 25 different chat bubbles included inside the plugin. I'll scroll, scroll through a couple of them. You can flip the bubble's X um, orientation. You can flip its Y orientation. Of course, let's say you flipped it here. You can click and you can drag your text to reposition it. I'll go back to the generator. You'll notice that we can affect the whole position of it. You can notice that we can affect the rotation. You'll notice that we can affect the scale. We can also affect these things individually. So if we just wanted to affect the X position uh, scale, we can do that, Y scale, etc. We can change whether we have a border applied. We can change uh, the width of the border. We can change the color of the border. So let's say we wanted red. We can enable or disable the uh, drop shadow. Scroll down here, we'll see what we can have a set of drop shadow color. We can change the distance. You'll notice that this drop shadow angle is not ex the, an exact angle and that's because we have flipped the orientations here. It's gonna act more as expected when those orientations are not flipped. So this would be, you know, minus 42 degrees. But when you flip it, it's flipping the drop shadow as well. So just be aware of that. I'm gonna go ahead and disable this. So right here, if you'll notice in the timeline, I've added a fade in and a fade out or a, a dissolve to the chat bubble. Of course, the text is off uh, center. I'll go ahead and click and drag it up. We have all the text controls that we would normal, uh, normally expect with any text inside of a generator. We can double click to make changes. We can come to the text tab. We can change the sizing to lower it down, increase the size, etc. I'll press Apple Z to undo. Anyways, just wanted to give you a quick overview of that uh, effect now available at 40tv.com slash shop. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and press spacebar to preview what we've got here. And I hope you guys like this cartoon effect. Um, if you have any uh, requests or comments about the effect, please let me know. I thought about including a couple other things, but um, and then I've, uh, I've modified things, taking it in, taking it out, just because it depends on the clip that it's being applied to. But hopefully you guys find it useful and use it in one of your projects. If you do, please uh, shoot me an email and let me know of the project. I'd love to see it in action. All right, guys, till next time. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, and of course, if you like the comment uh, content, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, guys, I'm out.